Morning everyone. We're at just outside Bransburton between Beverley and the east coast of Yorkshire and today we're going to have a look at the Blue Rose Country Park. This is part of the Tranquil Parks group and is an all adult site. Uh, I'm filming this early morning as not to disturb people, those that don't want to be getting on film. So you come through the gates here and the reception is immediately to your left. Obviously it's not open at the minute, it's about half past seven. But you just go in there and pay and they'll give you a pitch. They're very, very accommodating and very, very friendly at this site. Um, it's a site we've used a fair bit, especially in the winter, as you'll see further on into the review. Uh, you're not going to be getting muddied up at all. Electronic security gates as you come in, they'll give you the key code number on arrival. And we'll get through here. And then I'll show you down at the bottom end first. Because this is a park, static park, touring park. I do believe, I've heard this weekend, that the static part of this park is completely full. Uh, they do have a sister park, which I'll show you the number of later on in the video. We'll just do a little bit up here, going past these statics, as you can see, it's uh, all very well kept. They're all new caravans on here. And it is a very quiet site. But obviously the park's full and it's what people like. So... Right, we're coming up now to where the touring section is. We'll be going through. Now, these pictures on this touring site are all ad standing for caravan and awning, and they are all fully serviced. Uh, the prices are usually £22 a night, or when they're having special events on, which I'll talk to you more about in a minute, it goes up to £25 a night around here you can just see there's loads of space on this park and it is very very well kept right, we're going to pan round to the right in a second and you will see there's like a barn structure now in here is where the, all the special events we attended one on Saturday night for the Halloween and it's very good and they do not rip you off with your bar price in here it's all uh, cans and bottles but they are very very fair with the prices unlike a lot of places about that's a sign for the sister park which is over in Lincolnshire just across here is the main toilet block for people that prefer to use the site facilities instead of the facilities in the caravan now this is by no means a modern block but having said that spotlessly clean very warm and very adequate the showers are big absolutely brilliant there is nothing wrong with this toilet block at all if we just go around the back here there's a little information room there is a small laundrette and there's um, also some disabled uh, toilet facilities. Down in the, well, just going around here, I tell you, down in the village, which is about a 20 minute walk, there's two pubs, both doing food. There is a fish and chip takeaway and restaurant. There is also a Chinese takeaway and restaurant. And there's a village shop. Oh, God. So if you look across here now, there's a big grass area with picnic tables. And if you can see the size of the roadways on this place, you've no problem manoeuvring whatsoever. Just here against this edge, um, if you wanted to stop over for a couple of hours or, what, or just an overnight, because you're going in somewhere else, there is facilities to park up there and connect up to the electricity. A bit of frost on the ground this morning, it's a bit chilly. 
uh, as we walk down here now you can see this is uh, one of the emptying points for your toilet waste even that's meant to look quite nice really compared to some sites this is a beautifully quiet site if you like the quiet life this is the site for you uh, we use it a lot over winter months because you're not getting in any mud at all whatsoever it is a 12 month round site and you're not paddling about in out that's very good now the electricity at this site is only 10 amp so you can't go banging everything on or you're going to pop the electric but if you use your head you're okay a lot of seasonal caravans down at the centre you can see with the boxes up back and that that pitch then with pitch 53 it's got size of a football pitch at size isn't it that's massive pitch which my friend likes to go on there a lot here in the corner you've got your dog walking area and um, i don't have a dog but a lot of people do and they bring them and this seems a very popular part of it and you can get right back and go walking down edge bottoms and fields and that it's all very nice so we'll pan back round here and we'll just walk back towards my caravan because bang opposite is the warden's van and he's got telephone numbers at back in it for both sites so it saves me pinning them on it's uh, a great little park the usual warden terry has moved to the parking lincolnshire at the moment very accommodating bloke good fun uh, really nice chap there's two new wardens on at the moment we've met them spot them seem very nice and i've never had an issue at this site whatsoever and i think that's all i can really tell you about it it's about eight miles out of Hornsey and you're 20 minutes from Breed and during season you've got your Scalington Market just up road you've got Beverly just down the road there's the two phone numbers for this one and the sister site I'll, uh, I'll I'd tag a little bit on to end we went to the Halloween party on Saturday night so it can just show a little bit what went on in there we'll see you all later <laughs> So I've just had a request. Do I have such a thing that has the penny arcade? Yes, I have the penny arcade. Oh, yeah. That's not it. That was the one next to it. Right, let's try that again, there we go.